What's going on guys? TBF Gaming here with a brand new game today. Well, not brand new, but brand new to me. Check it out. This is Game Dev Tycoon by Greenheart Games. So I'm just showing real quick the little website that you can get it from. I got it from Steam. Uh, it's on a really big sale right now, so it's kind of a cool game to check out. Really inexpensive, and I've had a lot of fun with it. So we're going to actually just play through real quick. So let's switch over to the game real quick. Bam. All right. So here it is. This is Game Dev Tycoon, and this is how the playthrough starts. All right, so it gives you a little uh, welcome sign. This is just straight up when the game starts. I've already played the tutorial, so I don't know if it'll make me do another tutorial or not. Uh, so we'll check that out, see if it uh, makes us. If not, I'll kind of explain things a little bit as I go and just kind of cruise through them. I was just going to play for a few minutes here, kind of just check out the game, give you an idea what it's like. It's a really fun game, though. I spent a lot of time with it. It seems really simple at first. So let's, let's check it out. All right, so it's saying, Welcome to Game, game Dev Tycoon. In this business simula simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create the best selling games, and gain fans and become the leader of the market. Uh, so you can choose when you first start, you can choose a couple different things. You can choose, uh, I think there was three options for different uh, lengths of the game. Uh, 35 years is like the normal one. I think there's a little bit longer one or an endless one. And then uh, there's one that's a little bit shorter. So I think either time passes faster or it's just less years, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So before we can start our adventure, we got to give ourselves a name. All right. So we'll go with our name right here on YouTube. You hear how loud my keyboard is. So TBF Gaming. We'll go with our name, Nathan. All right. Unfortunately, there's not any of them that are quite as ugly as me. So we'll just go with one that's uh, somewhat somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I can pull that off. Let's just go with. And all these are pretty bad. Uh, I guess we'll go with that one. It's pretty nerdy looking, but at least the colors kind of match the TBF Gaming logo. We'll go with that. All right, continue. All right, so when you're first start, starting off, it, it yeah, so it's not going to give us a tutorial. So when you're first starting off, pretty much the first thing you got to do is go, go ahead and click the screen, and then you that gives you your options. Uh, later on, you can click on actual characters or uh, workers within the business, and then you can get more options that way. But for right now, you're going to click in here. We're going to develop a new game. All right, we'll give it a name. I'll, I'll give it a name last. I usually like to pick the, pick what I'm making and then try to give it a cool name, which we always fail at that. So pick topic, and this is always random, the ones that you get first off. So we're just going to start with the very first one. We're going to start with Spy. You pick a genre, action, adventure, RPG, simulation, strategy. For the early on part, you want to pick something that goes kind of together. So for, for Spy, we're going to go with a uh, action game. All right, and you pick your platform. These are only two platforms when you first start off. You get the G64 and the PC. So we're gonna go with uh, G64 seems to sell a little bit better when you first start off. All right, so I see Spy, I don't know. We're gonna go super original, we're gonna go Spies. So uh, I don't know if this actually plays into it. I feel like sometimes when I choose a better name, the game does sell better. So I don't know if there's some kind of thing within the game that does that. So we're gonna go ahead and say next. All right, you get to choose what kind of uh, graphics you want. And this all expands big time as you get further into it. Later you start getting 3D graphics, all kinds of crazy stuff. So for right now, it's just text-based or 2D graphics. We'll go 2D graphics, and you can see it costs a little bit more. So we're going to start development. You're going to see your little guy get to work over here. You're going to see these little bubbles pop up. you got bugs, design, and technology, and the little bubbles pop up and fill up each one of these uh, stats. And then uh, you hit a few different stages within the development. So stage one, we got to decide what we want to focus on the most, engine, gameplay, or story or quest. And this is like early on. We're not going to care about story or quest. We're going to go like all gameplay and uh, you know about just a little bit of engine mainly mainly gameplay to start off that seems to do well in the beginning uh, so we'll go okay and then sometimes later on if you go way too low in a category then they, they hit you big time they say man TBF gaming shouldn't have just completely forgot about quest lines they they messed their game up so uh, it, it's kind of a gamble no matter what you do so we'll go okay you'll see him keep working all these little bubbles pop up so you got design technology and then research allows you to train and learn new things later so we'll use that in a minute all right, stage two, we have dialogue, level design, and AI. So this is pretty early on. We don't really care about AI. Uh, there won't be much dialogue in this. We're going to go all level design. All right, hit OK. Uh, continue to build up those. And you see the bugs popping up. At the end of the design, you can get rid of those, and I'll show you how. All right, so stage three is the last one. This one, you have a, f a few special features that you can add. And, and later on, there's so many of these to add. Uh, so early on, uh, we... 
Go a little bit of world design. Uh, graphics won't be too big a deal early on, neither will sound. So we'll start like that. Let's go ahead and hit OK like that. All right, so I keep working, keep doing some coding. Got some design going, and you see the bugs are filling up pretty good. So now when you're done, so now you're done, your guy's going to continue to work on the bugs. These little uh, orange ones that are popping up, they continue to take the bugs down, and then you might get some bonuses in the other way. So now you could let it keep working on it, but you got to watch your cash flow over on the right. So we can't leave that going for too long. So we're going to hit finish. All right, so now it's going to show you uh, how your game came out, or not, not that. It's going to show your experience that you gained from each one of the things that you did there. Uh, the top two numbers show your design and technology, and you want those to be as high as you can. Uh, later on, you get more coworkers to help build those up really fast. All right, so you see we gained a few things. No, no level ups yet, but it, each one that you focus on, whatever you focus on, gives you a certain amount of uh, points in that, and then you slowly level up, so you'll get better and better at certain aspects of games. All right, and then you get bonuses every time you do a new topic or a new combo, and then there's a few other things that give you bonuses later on. So we're going to go ahead and release our game. Now this is a quick tip. When you hit release game, if you real quick click on the screen, what's going to happen is right, right after you do this, it's going to give you a review of your game. But you can always jump. If you, hit the, if you click real quick, you can do research, and you can knock out a little bit of research while it's doing your review and stuff like that. So we're just going to do new topic. And you see a few new ones that pop up, so we can choose one of these. So we're going to do the first one, airplane. We might not use it for a while, but we're going to go start research. And then if you didn't do that, this is what will pop up first. So I just like to try to get that research in there real quick uh, to try to, that way we'll get it built up just a little bit. All right, so game review. The first reviews are in for our new game. And then it pops up a few different uh, like little either gaming channels, magazines, whatever it is. And they give you a little bit of score. So this first one usually isn't very good. I haven't had a very good one to start with. I Honestly, I haven't had very many good ones just overall. Cause I'm, I played it for a little bit, but I haven't done too well just yet. So you see the uh, I fall a bit short. A little unsurprising. Uh, Game Hero did like it, and then all games said, meh. <laughs> so I got a review of meh. <laughs> all right, so the, uh, the these give you your reviews, and that can affect sales. So now when I hit close, it's going to start. Uh, you see my research going right there. I see TVF Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, just released their first game, Spies. The game had moderate response from reviewers, and we're curious what TBF Gaming will deliver in the future. All right, so now it's going to show up in the top right. It's going to start showing your sales. So each month it'll show your sales. So we sold 2.6 thousand units the first, and what is it, week or month? Let's see. In the first week, we sold 2,559 units. So put us at number 64 on the charts, and it looks like it made us somewhere around 17.9. Uh, thousand so you can see our cash flow went up all right so we'll hit okay our guys still working on research uh, spies was so successful that we have now 17 fans so each week uh, when you have sales you gain some fans or if your game does poorly you'll lose fans all right you see that's cruising there our research is about to finish up there you go research complete we have a new topic airplane so now we can do airplane games uh, let's see let's see we're up to 39,000 oh look at that our sales actually went up a little bit our monthly cost, it'll show that, plus the actual sales, and then it'll show you how many fans you gained, which is all up here in this little top block to include the uh, time. All right, let's hit, hit OK. All right, so research is complete. So now we could just sit here and either bankroll up a little bit of money. Uh, we can do some more research. Uh, we can start developing a new game. We can look at our game history, which shows you the only game we've released so far. Uh, just Spies, we released it on the G64 with an average score of 4.75, so not real great. We got a whole 35 fans. It went up to number 64 in the ranking. So it just, just kind of shows you uh, what they had going on for that game. You can also do a uh, generate game report, which is the same thing just for the current game they have out, I guess. All right. And then, of course, you can do more research, which all depends on this little blue uh, bubble up here. Or you can go ahead and develop a new game. So we're going to jump straight into developing a new game. That way we can uh, continue to make a little bit of money. So these first few of you kind of struggle score-wise. It's not too big of a deal because you're going to have um, you just want to make a little bit of bankroll so you can actually start making a little bit better game. All right, so let's see. Remember, what, what did we make last time? We made a spy action. All right, so now we're going to do a new game. So we did action last time. We're going to do adventure this time. And I'm going to do spy again, so that way we can still get a new combination between spy and adventure. And then platform, we're going to stick with this. It'll start showing you the market share and how they're doing versus each other. So... This one costs a little bit more to develop on, but you can see they have a bigger market share. So you can sell quite a few games with these guys compared to the PC. All right. I think we're good there. 
All right. Let's see. We'll go super original again. Let's buy attack because it's in. We're doing a. Uh, what are we doing? Adventure game this time. All right. We're gonna hit next and show you your total cost up there. We're gonna stick with some 2D graphics. I haven't tried the text based. I'm sure that it has some kind of uh, benefit to it if you go that way or if you choose a specific game. So, we're gonna cruise there. Hopefully our guy keeps getting a little bit better here. All right. This one we we better do a little bit better engine this time. We're still doing an adventure game, so we don't care too much about stories and quests just yet. All right. And then you want these numbers to get higher, and you'll start getting higher and higher numbers here as your guy gets better at doing all these things. And later on, you can actually train your guy to get him better, too. So dialogue we don't care about because this is pretty early on. We'll go all level, a little bit of artificial intelligence. Just kind of change it up a little bit. It's kind of just all about playing with the different combinations here and kind of trying to figure out uh, what works. Honestly, I've gotten it wrong about, you know, 7 out of 10 times I've gotten it wrong. A few times I've gotten pretty lucky, so... We're going to go like all world design, a little bit of graphics, and we're going to kind of leave sound out. So you kind of, anything that you, you give more attention to, it takes away from the other. So if we go a whole bunch here, you can see it makes, you know, the other ones bigger or smaller. So it's kind of, you got to focus on one or the other. All right, let's go OK. Hopefully we break the 10 mark. Oh, there we go. Sales record. Spies achieved a company sales record because it was our first game. <laughs> 10,000 units sold. It's an important milestone in the history of TBF gaming. There we go. All right, watch that continue to build up there. Bam, there we go, finished. Let's let him market the bugs out just for a second. We can wait maybe another week. Give it just one more second, see if he pops anything else out here. Come on, buddy. There we go, one more technology. Oh, and then once your game is done selling, it'll take it off the market. So Spies is now off the market. It sold 11,000 units, generating $78,000. So not too bad, 78,000 for our first game, and we're already developing our second, about to release it. So. Now that our bugs are at zero, we'll go ahead and finish. Oh, let's see. Industry news. Recent market suggests that the Govador 64, Commodore 64 back in the day, is steadily outselling its competitors in the PC sector. All right, so it's basically saying that this one is what's ruling the way for gaming right now. So, And this all shifts and all changes as you go along. All right, experts say that it might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up. Get this game released. There we go. New new record, new record. There you go. Everything building up there. It's almost there for gameplay, almost there, level design. There we go. Doing pretty good there. Sound. And we're almost to level two. Let's go ahead and release this game. Remember I said once you hit release, go ahead and click right away and do research. And we might actually save this time. Uh, I'm not going to do new topic this time. I'm going to actually wait. I'm going to exit out here. Uh, we want to get up to 50 so we can do a custom game engine because then you're able to create your own game engine and uh, that seems to give you a little bit of a bonus too and then as you make that better and better uh, it's, it's just pretty cool I like doing that so let's go ahead and hit X there go ahead and let our review come out so here comes our review for spy attack spy attack reviews are looking middle of the road again <laughs> so <laughs> no improvement here all right spy and adventure are a great combination which means the game wasn't good but the <laughs> But the combination probably was. Game Hero says they've seen better. <laughs> and and wow, I get the highest score from someone that says could have been better from all games. So that's pretty cool. And it gives you a few different comments every time it gives you a score. Uh, I've seen all the way down to 2, and I've seen 110. So I've seen a few different scores there. All right, so let's see, the, let's see the sales come in for this first one. All right, so it looks like we sold 3,000 units our first week. Not too bad. So it's probably going to break the, oh, we got number 47, too. That's a little bit better than the last one. I like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into one more new game. I think we're going to move away from Spy this time. Let's go Let's go racing. We're going to go racing. And then I assume racing would go under action. You probably do simulation, but we're going to do action. And then we're going to stick with the G64. All right. Racing. Uh, there you go. Go TBF Racing. <laughs> so like I said, I'm horrible at the naming. Hopefully you guys pick better names if you play this game. All right. We're going to stick with 2D graphics. And then let's get, get to developing that. So our sales are coming in on the other one. Looks like it's coming in pretty good over there. Uh, we're going to go all engine and gameplay. Pretty much no storyline or quest because it's just a racing game. Click OK. He keeps building that up. And our research is building up a little bit here. All right. Let's see, uh, dialogue, no one cares. Artificial intelligence, probably a little more important here. 
go like that. So and then you kind of got to decide just based on what genre it is, like what you want to focus on. So like I said, I'm probably getting all these wrong. So I'm probably I'm not definitely not setting a roadmap up here for uh, what's going on. Let's go world design down a little bit. Graphics, we want kind of a good graphical game, and let's get our sound a little bit better this time. So we'll go with that. Oh, industry news. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento <laughs> is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. All right. And they doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but they're eager to see what Nin Ninvento will deliver. So, <laughs> so Ninvento. You can see the naming convention here, what they're aiming at, but it's, it's pretty funny. It gives you a little bit of nostalgia fun. All right. Let's let this guy work the bugs out. There we go. There you go. Get a little, a couple more points over here. Give you one more chance. Let's go. All right. All right. Looks like as good as we're going to get right there. All right. So our game just came off the market just as we finished this one. So that's pretty cool. Later on, some games will take a little bit longer to develop and a lot more money to develop. So uh, you got to kind of keep an eye on that. All right. Spy Attack is now off the market. It sold 12,000 units and generated 84,000 in sales. Awesome. All right. So let's see what our second game does now. All right. Oh, we got a new record for design. Oh, that's great. There we go. So we're almost leveled up for gameplay. Oh, we leveled up for level design. That's good. Let's see if anything else made it. Oh, we almost got it. All right. We're almost to level up. So we're at research 37. So like I said, don't forget that when you release game, this is your chance to kind of, you can click in here quickly and uh, hit research and see if there's anything worth researching. And this gets way bigger too. You get all kinds of different things that you can research. But for right now, we're going to continue to save. We want to get up to that 50. All right. So let's uh, see what our reviews look like this time. All right, so the first reviews came in for TBF Gaming, and we are going to score. Ah, there we go. Their focus on artificial intelligence served this game very well from Star Games. Informed Gamer said it's enjoyable. Uh, Game Hero said it's fun at stages, <laughs> so certain parts were good. And All Games says it's a good game. So there you go, a lot better reviews on that one. I think we uh, got a better balance on that one. Let's see. So now, we see our sales come in. Hopefully, because of a little bit better reviews, you're going to see an uptick. Let's see. Hi there, I've just finished TBF Racing, and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business, and we could use your skills. If you ever are short in cash, let me know. So this is, this is contract work. So you can do this to try and make yourself a little bit extra money. All right. So all you do is you click over here, and you find find contract work. And this is if you're, if you're ever low on money. And then you look at these different ones. You have four weeks. You have to get 17 uh, technology and one design. This one you got to do 13 and 6. And this one you got to do 1 and 11. So early on, I wasn't able to make any of these uh, from what I was able to see. In a three week span, it's kind of hard to get to those numbers. And if you don't make it, so if you make it, you get the money. But if you don't, you get the penalty. So typically, I don't, uh, I don't jump into these early on because I've, I've pretty much never made one. Maybe there, Maybe you can, but. Uh, I just had no luck in the beginning when I was trying it out. Uh, if you do go under the money amount here, if you go down below zero, uh, somewhere underneath there it gives you like some kind of bank loan that kind of extends your life. Uh, below that, I'm not sure if, if you end up going out of business. So, all right. Uh, let's see, we're going to let that sell just a little bit ago. Let's see, today Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called the TES early next year. Let's see, and we're getting close to the end of the year. The console features cartridge-based games and a unique designed controller. All right. So I think what we're actually going to do is it costs a little bit of money to get the Neven to actually go for the Nevento. So we're actually going to save it up and wait for the console to drop before we develop a new game. So just wait a little bit here as our sales continue to come in. So we're up to 147,000. Not too bad. Uh, we'll see. Probably go, it'll stop selling here in just a second, but we should get the Nevento to drop here in a minute. And that way we can develop a game on it right away. Now, to develop for the new for a new console, it will cost a little bit of uh, money to actually like buy the licensing for it. So that's that's something you have to think about when you move to a new console. So let's see. Uh, let's see, still making a tad bit of money. We're going to start going down pretty hard. All right, so TBF Racing is off the market. It sold 18,000 units. And generated 129,000 in sales. That's a lot better, All right? And I think, yeah, I think we're gonna get it to drop here pretty quickly. So, uh, 
hopefully the console does because we lose about 8,000 every month we don't want to go down too far if it takes too long to drop we'll go ahead and there we go today the new game platform TES by Ninvento has been released so I'm going to click here and develop a new game so now we're going to pick platform and we're going to see if we can afford to do this so licensing cost is 80,000 so it's 80,000 to acquire the license Let, uh, and then development cost is 30 so that puts it 110 but we're going to we're going to try it out so let's go like that genre actually let's let's pick topic first let's go with hmm let's go sci-fi and we'll go RPG this time so sci-fi RPG I didn't do well on this last time we'll see if we do a little bit better this time I, I've picked this one before but I can't remember how it did so the fall so it'd be kind of like fallout kind of just playing off of that one we'll go next oh can we do it there we go all right, 2D graphics, start development. You see we're pretty low on cash now, so hopefully we can make it through this. All right, so this one, uh, we're going to go really balanced for this one because I'm not really sure which one's the best way to go here, so we'll go really balanced. All right, so watch as that build up. We're going to end up hitting zero cash-wise, so hopefully we don't uh, go out of business. So dialogue be more important here, artificial intelligence. And now I think if you pump all these up, it might lengthen the amount of time that you guys spends on the game. That's okay. That'll, that'll work. All right. So keep going into design. Come on. Hook us up. All right. Let's get better world design. We're going to leave sound down just a little bit. I'm going to roll with that right there. Hopefully we'll get up over. There we go. Keep pumping. See, we're about to be down to zero dollars here in a second. All right. Get these bugs out. Come on, bugs. As soon as the bugs hit zero, we'll hit go. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, we're really low on cash. So up to 14 there and 11 there. I think that will be a new record. No, just new record on the left side. So and you see we're leveling up across the board here. Everything's leveling up a little bit. Let's hurry and get through this. Oh, and we leveled up too. So Nathan's a little bit better at it. Now all his stats will increase, and you'll be able to get design and technology a lot faster. All right, let's go ahead and release the game. All right, and like I said, normally we hit research there, but we're just going to keep going because we... Oh, dang, we had 50 research. I wasn't paying attention. All right, so the first reviews for our new really release game are in. The Fall. Let's see. Oh, it's looking low. Oh, no, okay. Four. I got an okay. <laughs> they gave us the okie dokie sign. All right, they're saying sci-fi and RPG is a good combo. Uh, game Heroes seen better once again. And all games has its fun at stages. So you do get some repeats for the reviews, but... It's still funny to see them. You'll, you'll get a few new ones here that you haven't seen before. Let's hit close. All right, do we want to do that research? Because we kind of need to develop another new game. Let's see how much we sell this first month. As long as this one goes up high enough. All right, that gives us to 21K. Hmm. Yeah, we're so low. Because it's going to be another 30,000. Let's go up one more month, and then we'll go ahead and develop a game. Because... So, oh man, 30, 35, okay. It's going to be pretty close, so we're, let's go ahead and get started on it. We're going to go, let's do, let's do sci-fi again, and now we're going to switch our genre. We'll go action, and we'll stick with the Nintendo. And you can see now, as everything kind of shifts here, you see the PC drop down to 25, the G64 is 35, and Nintendo's leading the way right now, in, excuse me, Invento is <laughs> leading the way right now with 39% market share. So we're going to go with that one. All right, so the last one was the fall. Um, let's see. Run. <laughs> like I said, don't don't make fun of the names here. We we're not real good at making up names. Uh, next, two D. Oh yeah, see we're in the hole. Okay, cool. So we were in the we were in the red for a second there. We're back out. So let's uh, we're in action now. So we're gonna lower the quest some. Lower the engine a little bit. Focus on gameplay. There we go. All right, keep pumping up those stats. Let's go, bud. All right, let's see. Up to five and four. Dialogues. Uh, we'll bring dialogues down, AI down just a little bit. Leave level design up. Go like that. So some of you guys might have a better idea of what should be focused on for each game. I, I really don't. I don't really think about that. I just kind of just try to have fun with games. So sometimes I don't pay attention to the uh, graphics. Obviously, I love this game right here. You can see the graphics aren't that important to me. Uh, let's see. World design, we kind of care about that. Graphics, we don't really care about as much. Sound, we'll lower a little. 
we'll go like that. All right, we need you to pump some design, buddy. Get up over 10 at least. There we go. Now we got a lot of bugs this time. All right, so we're going to have to wait for a minute for the bugs. Hopefully he makes a little bit of money still over here. All right, so that game comes off the market. It sold 13,000 units and generated 96,000 in sales. So not, not too bad. Let's hit OK. Let him finish up the bugs here. All right, give you one more. All right, let's go for it. All right, so experience gained. Oh, we got a new record there. We got a bonus for a new combo. And we'll see a couple level twos here. So we leveled up story quest and dialogue. There we go, cool, cool. All right, so we'll hit release game and we're gonna go ahead and do our research now. So we'll click real quick, research. We're gonna uh, research custom game engine. That way, while we're waiting for a little bit, he'll start building that up right there. All right, so here come the game reviews. Let's see, hopefully we make a little bit of money off this one. Oh, go high, go high. There we go. Their focus on level design served this game very well. So that's, that's positive. He says, good game from informed gamer. And then we have nice experience by Game Hero. And all game says I like it. Okay, so that's not too bad. So that should bump ourselves up just a little bit on this one. Let's see what they tell us here. Hopefully it's just a little bit better. Okay, that's not, not too bad right there. That's pretty good. 50,000 that week. Oh, look at that one. That bumped up big time. The recent release TES home console by Nevento has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. So it's good that we jumped on the boat for that one. There's going to be some ones later that you jump on, and they don't sell for anything because of the console. All right, so that one moved up to 27, so hit OK. Uh, it's saying that they love the game, games and controllers. So we're making pretty decent money off of this one. So uh, we're going to go ahead and... What we would do right now is once he finishes research, all right, research complete. Now we can do a custom game engine. Now we can do game tutorials and mono sound. So let me just kind of show you for if you do a create custom game engine, if you do this one, you can actually, the different things that you've seen within here, you can click on these. It'll increase the cost of your game engine. Obviously, it's going to cost quite a bit if you add all these different things in there. And then you create your own engine, you give it a name. So you can create your own, you know, your version of the Unreal Engine. So pretty cool. A nice little addition to the game. Uh, you can create that, and then you can include that engine in all your games. All right? So we're not going to do that right now. I think that's going to do it for us today. So uh, I might play this game a little bit more. Probably not on the channel, but I'm definitely going to play it a bunch over the weekend. This is a game, uh, easy little game that I like to just jump in and play, for, uh, waste a little bit of time. It's a really fun game. So I think uh, the, what, what are they called? What is it? Uh, Greenheart Games. I think they did a great job on this one. So uh, I'll probably play it quite a bit. If you guys check it out, let me know. If you guys could, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.